Hey y'all, don't touch that mouse or that screen phone. You're watching Spread Those Mouse. Like that. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Episode number two. Two for Tuesday release. Part two. Uh, we are back. We are at. Where the hell did we go? Beltline Brewing. Beltline Brewing. I want to say Bright. I, I wanted to say Brightsmith Brewing. There's so many breweries in Buffalo that Wait. have bees. It's not funny. We are at Beltline Brewing, uh, located on Swan and Hamburg downtown. Mm. Uh, so the Swanee House is actually reopened. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, they reopened. Speaking of Swan and Hamburg, that's where our friend Kevin lives. Yeah. Kevin's apartment is literally, I could have thrown the wings at his apartment and I would have hit. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, but we are back. Barbecue, Cajun, 716 Diablo. That smells horrible. I'm, I'm afraid. It doesn't smell great. I'm excited. Um, the Cajun, though, that's the most amount of dry rub. I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, we're gonna draw our showers with these barbecue first, just because they look like uh, they're oversauced. Hopefully, it's a oh yeah, it's it's a specific barbecue. I can't remember what the hell it was. Um, did I put that in the group chat? I don't believe so. Oh, chunk of butter. How is that? Is that a piece of celery? Maybe. I don't know. It's probably uh, hickory barbecue. It's hickory. It's probably a tapeworm. I no. <laughs> I really hope not. <laughs> oh my. Hickory dickory dock. <clears throat> Gary like sucking cock. That's a lot. Only in days that I'm in why. That's a lot of barbecue sauce. Blue cheese even makes it better. Oh, blue cheese makes everything better. If you didn't do it in the last week, well, why the fuck not? Um, but also, this place has banging blue cheese. It's hard to describe the flavor, it's just, you have to be there. Well, like, I would do borderline illegal things for this blue cheese. Oh, yeah. Kevin Gage, you want to pass those oh, right yeah. over here? For sure. And I will uh, dole them out because I realized it was our major production flaw. Didn't give you any. Didn't give me any. <laughs> Gary has oh, plenty. Gary saw some from last time. <clears throat> but I'm going to make you have them. Um, I don't really know how I feel about these. I've realized with these last couple of weeks <clears throat> that, like, just regular ass blue or barbecue. I'm not too much of a fan of. They have to like do something. It has to be like a, a hot barbecue or a sweet barbecue or mixed with something boring ass barbecue. Like if I were to go to like a pizzeria, I would never get like just straight up barbecue wings. Like I need something to. I need something to be mixed with it because that to me was just. Do you want to serve? Yeah, sure. The crispiness, crispiness. <laughs> Chris Pierce? <clears throat> the crisp is, was a bit better with it being um, on the grill. It's still not like the crispiest wing in the world. I'm gonna go a, a seven. If it was if it wasn't grilled, um, then I'd probably go lower. Um, <coughs> the amount of that was a big ass wing, that I will say. That I will go an eight. Now the and again, like we said last week, the way that they cook these wings, it's all off the bone, uh, which is phenomenal. Oh, or just you know, bone off the bone. No, no, yeah, no. that's not safe. What about in no. high school? <laughs> bone off the bone. Her. <laughs> um, the amount of sauce, sauce, um, sauce, a bit too thick for me. Um, there's definitely enough on there. I I. I did expect this with the one barbecue we had last week. Um, it was just really thick and, and covered everything. We do, but fortunately, a six-five just due to the consistency and um, it's really cakey. 
The, the flavor, like I said before I started my spiel here on grading, I need your I need your barbecue and just barbecue. Your barbecue! Your barbecue! To be mixed with something. You know, I, I, I'm i on this more of the side of a hot barbecue. You know, I like a little bit of kick to the barbecue, which is, you know, it's just my preference. But this is very bland, <coughs> basic. I just... Well, again, I'm even more upset just, about yeah. the, the specialty one that we didn't know about. The house sauce was a Cajun spicy honey barbecue and i would have taken that 10 out of 10 times over this right no definitely we might have to on the wings you miss part two <laughs> that actually does sound is that and actually that's on the menu yeah that's the house that's the house yeah. it's the house sauce yeah um this is very boring um this almost reminds me of like something you would put on like ribs or something just to like be like here here's a barbecue sauce it just doesn't it's not for me unfortunately I'm going to go for both the flavor and the price a six because I just didn't really enjoy this way. I hate to do it, but it just wasn't wasn't for me. And that's a sixty-seven total. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm kind of on the opposite spectrum. Uh, You've become this huge barbecue fan out of out of the closet. I've always been in a closet. <laughs> eh, <laughs> um, I'm going to go with a six on the crisp. These wings have not been crispy pretty much through both episodes. Um, so fuck you for that. Um, meat, I'm nice going to go with an eight. Seven or eight. Um, decent sized wing there. Uh, sauce, I'm going to go with an eight as well. I think I, I enjoyed the thickness of the sauce. I like when I get a thick barbecue sauce. because You like, just like when it's thick. I like licking my fingers. You two C's. I'm, I'm, I'm just a savage. Um, you made classy. Bougie and ratchet. ratchet. And then um, okay. flavor, I'm going to go with an 8. I got the smokiness of the hickory. Um, the dickory in the dark. It's enjoyable. It's even better with the blue cheese. It, it's pretty basic without the blue cheese. Um, so it's not amazing, but I like it enough to where I would eat those. I'm probably going to go with a 7 on the price because I wouldn't break the bank for them. So it's not insane. It ends up being a 74. So it's, it's good, but not great. Would you get that, like, out of the wings we had last week? Like, out of, like, the... Like, with those four, for example? I probably would definitely get it over the um, bacon one. Yeah, okay. And then probably over the all-dressed. <laughs> ah, see, I like the all-dressed. I didn't dislike the all-dressed. I, I, I would have the all-dressed still over that. Um, I think it just might be, like, their barbecue. Like, their, I don't know, just their barbecue has a distinct, like, taste. I'm going to go with a six on the crisp, just because, like... It really wasn't crispy, but these wings have sat for a week. Sure. Uh, amount of meat. I'm gonna go eight five. I'm gonna dock them for the fact that one of them exploded in my face. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Um, I'm not a sauce. I'm gonna go eight. Wee bit too much again. Uh, flavor. I'm gonna go eight five. Like it's traditional to its name. It wasn't a standard barbecue. It wasn't sweet baby rays. Um, it's very molassesy in general. I think they cook with a lot of molasses there. You you know that last week. Um, it's, it's very, like, sweet barbecue. Um, price, I'd go 7. Like, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'll go 76. Uh, but... I was, I was the Gary on that, uh, on that way. Yeah. <laughs> Gary's become a big fan of barbecue, though, out of, out yeah. of left field. These Cajuns. Dude, if these don't have flavor, I'm gonna be shocked. I know. Oh, my gosh. That one. Dude. I'm gonna go without blue cheese first, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. That's Cajun. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Well done. It's a very good Cajun, too. Holy moly. That's how you fucking dry rub a wind. I mean, look at that, dude. You can like, see the mm -hmm. white tenderness of the meat in there. Wow. That might be the best dry rub, like, Cajun in a very long time. Now I'm excited because I did not have it yet with the blue cheese. Me either. Wow. Oh. I like it, Picasso. Oh. Oh my. What a catch. Good thing it's a bottle. Oh my. I never said oh my like seven times. Dude. <clears throat> it's 
So you're gonna be salivate. What are the good like? That's fucking banging. Oh, you're on your second? Mm -hmm. And it's grilled too a little bit. So they fucked up. Yeah. They gave us way more of this. Bonus points. Wow. Dude, there is eight more wings in there. Mm -hmm. We've had six. Huh. I'm just gonna keep going. Fuck this. I'm fucking. All the horns. I'm speechless. Can't stop me now. Gary? I'll go. Talk to me, buddy. Chris. Eight. That's the Christmas meal we've had so far. Mary. Me. Eight five. They weren't huge, but the quality of the meat. It was white, it was perfect. Perfect, eight five. Don't even go there. <laughs> um, dry rub slash sauce. I don't know. You can't get go any above, better than that. Go above 10, mate. That, no, I mean, if you could give it a perfect score above 10, I would. Um, I'm going 10. You go 10 and a half, you want? We're going 10 and a half. Flavor, 10. Yeah, baby. That is one of the best <laughs> Cajuns we've had on the show. Very long time. In a Amazing. very long time. Price, 8.5, because I would pay for those. I don't care the price. If I had to pay, even if I had to pay an extra couple of cents, that's a 91. That's a fucking good Cajun wing. That's a very good Cajun wing. It's got a kick to it, and it makes me salivate. I'm creaming my jorts. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> um, I am going to go with a 7.5 on crisp. I feel like this could have been a little crispier. I'm going to go with an 8.5 on meat. Tens across the rest of it. Um, I'm gonna go with the ninety-two. Like that's that's a fucking banging, that's banging. The, that's wing. the standard for how you dry rub a wing. That should be whatever. I don't know what they did, how they got it stick. I don't want to know your magical powers. I forgive the fact that it took twenty minutes to sauce wings because that for made me fear everything. Yeah. <laughs> the, Compliments to the chef. Holy shit! The the crisp. I will go in eight. Um, the amount of uh, meat slash tenderness of the wing in general, a nine. Um, the amount of sauce slash dry rub. I have never been more impressed by a dry rub wing than I am here. I don't know, like Kyle said, what they did. I feel like they may have sauced it with something just to get it in order to stick on there. Because it is caked on there. And when you opened, like when you took a bite out of like... Uh, flat, for example, I, you like saw the, the tenderness of the wing itself. Um, I'm gonna go a ten for the rest of the um, flavor. The, now the flavor, this is has everything you want. I'm really happy. You want me to start over? We no, no, no. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're coming with a ninety-four. That is one of the best Cajun wings in general that I've ever had. The, the flavor, I'm so glad that we didn't mix it with everything because when you just have a straight up Cajun wing, you're really looking for a distinct flavor. And sometimes when it's mixed with things, but this is what you want out of a Cajun, out of a Cajun wing in general. It had like that, that dry rub throughout, you know, that and it, flavor. it does kind of linger. And it's just like still there. And I, with the blue cheese, without the blue cheese, it's honestly one of the best wings, period, that I've ever had. That's a was really good wing. Amazing. Wow. That's why they call me the Captain Cajun, because that was... Are they like, you don't get that, that type of flavor and like that that spice in any other type of wing than a Cajun wing. Are they going to call you the Captain Upset, though, in a minute? Yeah. Probably. I don't care. You know this what is they say show this? Time to die. Time to die, OG <laughs> Joe. You uh, find those fantasy picks. <laughs> That's it happens. <laughs> how, do you, how, do you, how do you sign out Total Talk Over? Until next time. We will taco to you later. Brilliant. Ugh. Yeah, I'll be fine. Not that one's good. I'm on a serious high right now. You know, I can still taste the Cajun in my mouth. Yeah. Wow. I'm going dry, boys. I don't know. 
I don't like the flavor. You know what it tastes like? That flavor you get right before the anchor bar suicide kicks your ass. What then? I don't pick the heat. Or the death sauce, whatever the fuck it's called. You know what it's called? That's true, sorry, I can work. But it has that, like, before taste. smell that was like very concerned. It's got a very, very tiny bit of a slow burn, but not insane. Kyle's disgusted. It's having really good tasting. That's upsetting. One more, maybe? Hello? You in there? That was a lot of sauce. Alright. Yeah, that's kind of poo poo. I mean, a lot of sauce gave a little extra heat. It was sort of like their original 716 wing, but a little bit hotter. Yeah. I mean, that was supposed to be the play on it, but... Um, and this is the hottest one they have? Yeah. Yeah. Man, you're going to name something Diablo? Shoot fire out of my ass. Yeah, I mean... 6.5 um, on the crisp. What a catch. You're doing great. I thought you were jerking off. <laughs> Let me give it a nine on meat. It's a big wing. You know how much porn? No, come sit on the couch with me. Consensually. Uh, <laughs> five on the sauce. There's nothing there. No. Six on the flavor. I am distraught. Um, six on the fucking price. Like, I probably wouldn't buy that again. 65. I will say that Johnny Appleseed, as their celery vendor, keep it up. Johnny Appleseed? Um, Jack and the Beanstalk? No, Johnny Appleseed, he plants shit. Yeah. So true. Tell um, us about this one. It's poopoo cheeks. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> um, I probably wouldn't buy these. You spit all over yourself? No. Um, crisp, six. It's very flaccid. Uh, meat. I'll give it a seven five. It was I had a decent sized one. It wasn't huge, but it was above average a little bit. Um, sauce six. Really not a lot of sauce on there. It was the least amount of sauce we've had so far. <coughs> Flavor like a five and a half. It's it's a little hot, but like it, there's like nothing special about it. it. It's got like a like a weird. Even like the flavors is. Not the flavor was not settling. No. Yeah, it's just like a weird. It's very hard to describe. It's like a you get like a, a suicide f almost flavor, and then it just goes meh, and then a, probably like a four in the price because I wouldn't I wouldn't pay for the. You're coming with a fifty-eight. Yeah, occasion. Okay, the crisp. I'm gonna go a six-five. These were the least crispy out of every one of these. Um, also with the meat, I'm gonna go a seven. This did not fall off the bone like the other wings did. I don't know what it is with like hot wings or suicide wings or extra hot wings lately, but I just feel like when you, whatever we have gotten to the the quote unquote hottest, they just kind of like 
Because it's like forget it, forgotten about, really. And they just like, oh, sure, this is what it is. Like, I feel like a lot of like places are just like, well, people don't order them, so we're not going to really try. That's why I was really... That makes sense. That's what I was hopeful for with the original uh, place we're supposed to do. Um, Scoob's was named by the Buffalo Wing Coalition as the tastiest... Hot wing? Extra hot wing. Oh, nice. And that was their hottest? You didn't want any part of that. Trinidad Scorpion Pepper and Ghost Pepper. That sounds like a horrible time. But apparently tasty. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, uh, the sauce. Seven. Um, the flavor. Um, there, there was really like no flavor. Like some, I try to grade these fairly, even though they tend to, you know, make me sweat and roll up my sleeves, and I don't really have a good time. Um, but this, the flavor itself, it was just non-existent. Um, it almost, like, I barely needed to, like, clear my sinuses. Because sometimes with, or a lot of the times with these hot wings, like, I feel it immediately, like, in my face. Yeah, you got You know, you can, like, feel it. But these just weren't, like, you almost got it. It was, like, the first of the seven, seven, I almost said seven wing six. <laughs> oh, with the seven, one, six. He is wing? <laughs> Boom. Uh, but it just never got to, like, that extra hot, um, echelon. Um. 6.5 again, and I'll probably go with 6. I, unfortunately, these really didn't... Uh, I think you're apart. still giving the highest score at 66. Um, that's when you know you did something wrong. Captain Cajun gives the highest score on the hot one. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed. Dude, like, this place was a roller coaster. I know. <laughs> it's like, oh... Like, dude, these, this was, I wish that we could have, like, a defin... I don't know if I would say, like, we need to... I have a definitive 100%. Get the Cajun wings. Go there specifically for the Cajun wings. The other one, the other wings that we've had to this week and last week, you could do a little bit better with. You, you need to perfect. If you perfected the other flavors, like you perfected the Cajun wing, you'd be all set. You know how to cook a wing very nice. Your order wing, extra blue just, cheese. Or extra blue cheese. For sure. Um, it's one of the best Cajun wings I've had, but I just wish that it was, we could have a definitive, like... Because that's how we started the episode. Oh, we've heard mixed reviews. And that's exactly what... To be inconsistent as a wing place in Buffalo, I don't know if I'm telling people to go here besides for the Cajun wing. Unfortunately. That's just my opinion. I think Gary hit it on the head with, with like, oh, it's a brewery. Like, yeah, man, they, they kind of do that, I think, as a reason of, oh, hey, 20 minutes, I got there. And he goes, oh, it'll be up in two minutes. And then... Five minutes pass. Oh, you want to get a beer while you're waiting? No. no. You just told me like two minutes. No, I don't want to get a beer while I'm waiting. Like, yeah. Okay. So like, I'm not chugging a beer in two minutes if you said I mean, it's two I, minutes. I could. Yeah, but <laughs> I could. Oh, <laughs> Make me my fucking food, you pansy. Yeah, go on, fucking Tino. I don't know if that was his name. It was the like fuck, Tino. baby gobble ghoul. <laughs> it's it probably Tiddlywinks or something. Tiddlywinks. Baby gobble ghoul. <laughs> sugar tits. Hang sugar plum tits. Sugar plum tits. Yeah, my son Tiddlywinks is a baseball game. AOA. <laughs> Sorry, I missed your baseball game, bud. <laughs> I gotta go home. I gotta go get a tattoo and Tiddlywinks has a baseball game at the ballpark. <laughs> Tiddlywinks has di 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 diarrhea the other day. We gotta go home and feed the cat. It's understandable. What? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, uh Cajun. <laughs> um, P I Z Z two four three on all social media platforms. Uh, fantasy beasts and where to find them. You keep on looking for those fantasy beasts. Yep, and we'll you know <laughs> we'll tell you where to find them. Um, we are in the second round of uh, free agency, as well as the draft. Why not? We are a week Probably away from the draft. draft. Week. Yeah, a week away from the draft. We'll be streaming that. I'm very excited for the draft, I must say. Um, I think that's, I'm just going to, yeah, that, that's all I got. Go to this place to get the Cajun wings. Mm -hmm. Well done. And I'll tell you after this week, I'm keeping it short and sweet. Like me. <laughs> so they used to call in high school. <laughs> Tiki Tribe TV Pro. Dot Squarespace com. That's where all of our new stuff is at. Yeah. It's all the same stuff. Same, same, but new. Um, we're our own entity now, so... Hell yeah, baby. Make it move. Make it entity. Move. Make a million dollars. So all of our podcasts on there, Total Talk Over. Yep. Fantasy Beasts, we're going to find them. Hall 2 goes there. Um, is there a draft in here? Spread those wings. And then much more to come will be on that network. Um, our sponsors... 
chicken dip in. Use the code seven one six at chickendippin.com and it's what chicken dippin chicken underscore dippin yep. yeah. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Get your awesome awesome bathtubs for your wings here for your blue I cheese. There was something else for blue cheese shot. only. And then Jeanette at the Harapy. We definitely didn't shout her out. No, but time. Jeanette at the Harapy, she is awesome. Um, she comes over and plays D and D with us. She's really cool. Um, Shh, great. Great. I don't have hair long enough for her to cut, but she cuts a Kylo's hair. So go check her out. She's on our website. You can book with her. She does a real good job. Oh, good, no, nice shot. And nice, then, nice girl. Nikki. Two scoops. Why am I even here? <laughs> I got removed from my own show. Nikki, two scoops. I fucking opened a network for you people. <laughs> this you is how you treat me. Nikki, two scoops. Get your ice you cream. You did a fucking great job. You're very proud. Get right your ice cream. We all scream for ice cream, and then now it's Kyle's turn. We all cream for ice cream too. Consensually, that is. Um, <laughs> Killed it. Shout out TJ Epics. Hit him up online. Mm -hmm. Check him up. Uh, that's Epics with two X's. Uh, he's got some graphics he can make you. Hook up my dude. He could use uh, some projects to do right now. Uh, shout out to Cody Rhodes, who's probably already the heavyweight champion of the world. Uh, shout out to WrestleMania being another weekend. Hopefully, I won money. Uh, shout out to each and every one of you three people that are listening because we don't have twenty thousand anymore because we're on a new network. <laughs> so if you're watching this, go follow us on the new network. Yeah, I know our friend Jack's listening to us on yes, the new sir. network. Shout out. Uh, shout out to you, Jack. We'll we'll get you on soon. I actually already hit him up, told him if he wants to come on, has a place. Uh, we exchange numbers. Awesome. So Jack's gonna be on as a guest soon. Uh, Jeanette should hopefully be on as a guest. We have we have a we have big shit popping. The best case scenario, how Cook Baldonado. God bless you. I knew you were gonna say that. Uh, <laughs> former Pitt Panthers kid, Pitt, Pitt Panther player gets drafted to the Buffalo Bills. I'm already friends with him. I got him on Instagram. We're gonna get him on here. Have awesome. some wings. The dude from Italy. The whole country is cheering for him. Gabagoo. No, 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 different Gabagoo. Uh, I think that'll about do it though. I mean, we got some big shit on the horizon. I'm trying to get Mance Warner on the show. Hell yeah. <laughs> Told him we'll buy the wings and the beer, but most of the beer. And I know that's <laughs> he's a sweetheart for beer, so come on, come on, Mancer. Uh, but until next time, uh, we will taco to you later. <laughs> but also, uh, you keep on spreading those wings. Gary! Spread your legs. Consensually. Uh.